Angie Harkin from the Wisconsin Beef Council is here. Welcome back to you. You're making you. steak stir fry today. Right. I thought it was a great time of year to talk stir fry because they're so quick and easy, like 20 minutes start to finish. You can do it all inside. Def Right. <laughs> Mother Nature's not been cooperating this summer with us. Um, and you can use a lot of your produce. So if you have a garden and your produce is ready right now, it's a great way to use that. And the farmer's markets are still in Absolutely. full swing. So Take advantage. Yeah. So this recipe that I've already made ahead is like your basic traditional stir fry. So I use top sirloin and I just quick fried that in batches with a little bit of garlic and then some crushed red pepper and then just used a jarred stir fry sauce right from the supermarket and then four cups of fresh vegetables. You don't so, have to get fancy with it. No, you don't have to get fancy. So um, four cups of fresh vegetables, so whatever you like. I actually bought the stir fry mix in the supermarket because it's so easy and I don't have a garden. It's already chopped up. <laughs> and it's already <laughs> chopped up, ready to go. And then just serve that over a bed of white rice with some um, dry roasted peanuts on top if you like, and that's it. And you got a super healthy, super fast sup. And the sirloin. That I use top sirloin. Okay. Now this second recipe are called Thai beef walk and roll up. So we're going to make lettuce wraps and it uses flank steak. Okay. So it only calls for a pound of flank steak. Usually flanks are about a pound and a half or a little more. So you kind of want to look around for a small one or make a double batch. I had a little bit over a pound, so we're going to make a big batch today. But we want to brown, so slice your flank really thin and then marinate it in just some of the jarred teriyaki marinade and sauce. And then quick in a hot skillet with a little oil, and I have a wok pan here, about one minute per side, just saute up that flank. And the heat is essential when you're stir frying. The heat is essential because you want it nice and hot. You want to do your steak in batches so it doesn't steam, so it gets that really nice brown caramelization on mm -hmm. it. Literally one minute aside. You don't want to overcook it. Do you have olive so, oil? That was your... I got olive oil in here. All so right. then we're going to add in some pepper. So one red pepper, some green onion. Some peanut butter. Oh, here, we'll do the soy sauce first. And some peanut butter. So this is our kind of our Thai flavored sauce. Then we're going to put our beef back in. And that is it. And give it a big stir. Get that peanut butter melted in there. Make a mess. And then we're going to put them in lettuce. Yeah, and then we're going to serve it in lettuce lettuce cups, but of course you don't have to do that if you don't think the family would like that, <laughs> of course. You know, serve it over some rice or any kind of starch or whatever you like. Put a little salad on the side and you've got an awesome meal. Beeftips.com? Yes, beeftips.com. All the recipes. And we're going to have two more recipes coming up at 4 o'clock this afternoon, so. Two different two really different fun stir-fry recipes. Right. And we'll see you at 4. Yeah, definitely. Right, Chris has one.